Okay, this is a follow-up to an earlier video that I did where I had it on the spot focus and I had the point in the wrong place and you know you have to make sure that that's on your face. I put it on the wide area auto focusing to test to see if it will remain locked on the face and I'm in program mode and I'm at 70 millimeter f2.8 and so notice here this is doing a pretty good job of tracking my face. I'm getting closer to the camera here and it's tracking my face and I believe that's in focus. We'll know in a minute when I look at it on the big computer. Um, but as I go back here, see here I'm much further away from the camera and it seems to be tracking my face fine. Go over to the other side and it seems to still be tracking my face and um, I I'm in focus. So this is about I'd say seven, eight feet away from the camera right now. Again, 70 millimeter f2.8. So if you were doing a stand up and you had two people side by side, you'd be probably about this distance from the camera. If you wanted a really tight shot, get up here. I got to slouch down a little bit. And then you'd have a, uh, a relatively tight shot. And again, I'm at 70 millimeter. So this was the test that the subscriber asked for was 70 millimeter f2.8. And this follow-up test is showing how well it tracks me as far as, as I'm moving around, tracks my face on focus. Which again, you can't always use manual focus. I mean, if you're only one person and you're moving around in a shot like this, you need it to track you and it needs to be accurate. And I found with the FZ1000 Panasonic, it does have some hunting issues when, when we're doing this exact same thing. So anyway, more tests coming on the... Uh, Sony RX100 Mark IV. How do you like the way I'm using my iPhone as a microphone? I have another video on that. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.